before we get started on this pre-draft interview tour, all right, we got a few things to go over. First, the NBA sent over this personality test for you to fill out so they can get an idea of how you think, what kind of person you are. A test, man? Come on, really? <laughs> all right. All right, man, before that, though, let's talk about expectations. How you expect your NBA career to unfold? All right, we got to make sure we always on the same page when it comes to goals and expectations. Okay. All right, let's start with the where. If you had your choice to play for any NBA team, who would it be? Hey everyone, Cash here bringing you another video from NBA 2K14. We are jumping into this one mid cutscene here. We're picking our team we want to be drafted by. Not sure what effect this choice has, if this is going to depend on where we get drafted. Maybe it has an effect on the storyline later on down the road. But going through here, one team stopped there, the Rockets. They're a pretty good team. Don't have the best point guard. So I think I'm going to go with them, see how that turns out. Yeah, that's the one, baby. You know it. <laughs> yeah, man. I figured you might say that. But, you know, as your agent, I can't be assuming stuff. This will help me, though, when I'm behind the scenes working on stuff. Okay, okay. So what is the one thing that's most important to you in your NBA career? What is most important in my NBA career? I think this is a could be a little bit of a trick question again. Not sure what effect this has. Earn a lot of money, definitely not that. Make the Hall of Fame. I think that's a reasonable one. Win at all costs. Be a great teammate. The win at all costs one. I don't know. That might be able to be construed as a little bit negative. Make the Hall of Fame might be a little bit selfish. I think we're gonna go with the safe answer here. So I'm not totally sure what effect this is gonna have. I'm gonna go with the be a great teammate. Yeah, man, what's up? We done? Yeah, man, we're done. I lined up a few interviews with some teams that were really showing interest in you, all right. right? But before they talk to you in person, they want to get a feel of what your personality is like. So that's what that personality test is for. All right, so let's take care of that, and then we can head out. Let's do it. All right. All right, personality test. Do you feel like the ball should be in your hands for the last shot of the game? Definitely. Do you feel it's your responsibility to Keep your teammates at a high level. I would say so, yes. Which is most important, scoring or defense? I'm going to say defense on that one. Do you prefer for players to call plays from the floor or to look to the coach for help? I'm going to have to say the players calling those on the floor. And then are you comfortable adapting to your role for the best fit for the team? Definitely yes on that one. Nice to meet you. I'm president of Team Operations for the Suns. We're looking to use one of our upcoming draft picks for someone who can help our franchise take the next step. I think you might be that guy. I'd like to ask you a couple questions to make sure. Here we go. I feel like we have our point guard of the future in Eric Bledsoe, but I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't look at all available options in the draft. How do you think you compare to Eric? All right, Phoenix Suns. I'm going to be honest, I really do not want to play in Phoenix. The, areas, the guys talking about, they already have Eric Bledsoe. I don't want to be mean, though. It might affect us in our draft slot. I'm just going to go with admire him. Uh, I see a lot of great qualities in Bledsoe. He's just got that will to win and, and knows how to score in tough situations, you know? It would be a great privilege to play alongside him, and we could do great things together. If you draft me, we could take the league by storm. Interesting. Next question. As a whole, the Suns have kept the same core for the better part of a decade. We found a winning formula and stuck by it, just rotating in supporting pieces where necessary. As I'm sure you've seen over the last year or so, we're in the midst of overhauling our roster. We really love the idea of you being a part of that process. What do you think about being a centerpiece for the new Phoenix Suns? All right, second question. You know what? I, I really don't want to play for the Suns, so I think this is our opportunity to kind of back out of this one. We are just going to say not interested in rebuilding. Honestly, no thanks. I'm looking to come into this league and win right away. I want rings, titles. I feel like your franchise is about to rebuild, and I'm just not willing to give the time to wait that out. Well, I can see that we're not a match, unfortunately. Good luck to you on draft night. Hello, nice to meet you. I'll try to keep this brief. I'm the head scout for the Minnesota Timberwolves. We're looking to use one of our upcoming draft picks for someone who can help our franchise take the next step. I think you might be that guy. 
I'd like to ask you a couple questions to make sure. Here we go. Minneapolis is truly a beautiful city, but are you aware of how brutally cold the winters are? We have freezing cold, we have snow, we have it all. I've seen players walk in telling me that nothing can stop them, only to be defeated by the weather. Can you deal with these types of adverse conditions? Okay, so the next team is the Timberwolves. They do have Ricky Rubio, but he's not the greatest point guard I could see playing in Minnesota. So we're going to say it's just mm, weather. I've been fortunate enough to spend my entire playing career in uh, more favorable weather. I can't say that I know what it's like to play when it's zero degrees outside, but I honestly don't see why it would matter. I guess it's really easy for me to sit here and say that with no experience, but man, it's just the weather. I mean, it's not basketball. All right, then. One more. This is a question we ask all our potential draftees, and I want you to answer it as honestly as possible. Where do you see your career going? What do you hope to achieve out of your career? Ultimately, what do you want your legacy to be? All right, this is an easy question to ask. What do we want our legacy to be? We want to be the greatest of all time, of course. I want to be the greatest of all time. If anyone answers you differently, man, they're either lying to you or they don't have the competitive fire to be great. And I don't want to be great. I want to be the greatest. I want rings. I want MVP awards. I want all those accolades. Man, I want people to talk about me 50 years from now. And they will. You just watch. I've got the fire, man. I've got the drive. I'm ready for this thing. Okay, I think I've heard all I needed to hear for now. You're definitely someone we can use on our team. Now we just need you to be available when it's our turn to pick. We only interview with two teams. Now it is time for the draft. Let's see if we can get drafted ahead of Jackson Ellis. Let's find out. You all right, man? Just relax a little bit. Yo, what if I end up being one of those dudes just sits here forever waiting to get picked, man? Hey, man, look, I've talked to everybody I can. Everybody agrees you're a lock for the first round, all right? It's going to be one of those moments you remember forever, all right? So just relax, man. Enjoy it. Yo, it's just that... Talk to me. It's just... I'm about to find out which team I start my NBA career with, man. I'm about to find out what city I spend the next few years of my life in. It's kind of surreal, you feel me? Hmm. Look, man. It's all a part of the ride, all right? Just relax. Hey, here come the commissioner now, getting ready to get things started. Good evening and welcome to the 2013 NBA Draft. For 60 of the world's most talented and dedicated young players, tonight marks the culmination of years of hard work as their dream of playing in the NBA moves closer to reality. To all of the fans watching around the world and to those here with us tonight, thank you for joining us. And now, to the task at hand. With the first pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Anthony Bennett from Toronto, Canada and the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. With the second pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Orlando Magic select Victor Oladipo of Indiana University. With the third pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Washington Wizards select Otto Porter from Georgetown University. With the fourth pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Bobcats select Cody Zeller from Indiana University. Ah, oh, man, still nothing. I really thought they might have gone with me. Nah, man, they always looked like they were going in a different direction, man. Hey, your time's coming, man. Be patient. This cutscene here early. Pick Next pick up is the, the Suns. Let's see if they end up NBA taking draft. us. The Phoenix Suns select Alex Len from the University of Maryland. 
with the sixth pick in the 2013 NBA draft, the New Orleans Pelicans. Yes, the New Orleans Pelicans select Jackson Ellis from UCLA. What? That is crazy. Ellis goes ahead of us. Look at that stat line, 10.7 assists. He played a horrible game. We definitely outplayed him in that rookie showcase. I cannot believe he just got drafted ahead of us. Uh, seriously, man? Uh, I can't believe they picked Jackson over me, man. Hey, man, look, don't you even give it a second thought, all right? He played well in the showcase. You knew he had to go sometime. Hey, but hey, you're going to have the better career when it's all said and done. Man, I better. Otherwise, that dude's never gonna let me live this down. <laughs> yeah, man. I feel you on that. All right, listen up. I have a feeling we're getting close. Yeah. With the seventh pick in the 2013 NBA draft, the Sacramento Kings select the 19 year old point guard from Michigan State. Yes! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby. What I tell you, dog? Woo! First uh, round, boy. Man, you got the first round, baby. This is your moment. Hey, go get that lid. <laughs> My man. You did it. Yeah. Sacramento Kings draft us. They did not even interview us. Minnesota was a couple picks later. But the Kings, not a bad choice. And they got Isaiah Thomas, but I think we can work with that. It's great to have you here. Please, have a seat. Again, let me say how excited we are to have you a part of this organization. We had our eyes on you before the Rookie Showcase, and we were thrilled when you were still available at our pick. Thanks. Glad to be here. Can't wait to get started. Great. Well, we'll get to that, but uh, we have a contract to sign. I think we're all in agreement. Yeah, good to go. Well, here's the official paperwork for you to sign and while you do that I had the media team prepare a little welcome video for you welcome to the capital city of California Sacramento on the fork of the Sacramento and American rivers Sacktown enjoys a sunny Mediterranean climate and has a beautiful green canopy more trees per capita than any other city in the world the Kings are a team that traces its origins back to the very beginning of the league and beyond back to the 1920s with a new ownership group committed to the passionate fans in Sacramento great things await and now time to meet your fellow Kings at point guard Isaiah Thomas when he catches fire he can pull up from three feet beyond the arc and knock it down at shooting guard Marcus Thornton can heat up at any time in a game incredible range on his threes at the three spot John Salmons, still one of the better catch and shoot guys in the league, a born shooter. At the four, Carl Landry. He might be undersized, but he can finish inside by keeping defenders guessing with his up fakes. And at the center position, Demarcus Cousins. You rarely get to see a big man with the smooth game that he has. The Sacramento Kings, here we stay. And that's just a small taste of what we have in store for you here. Yo, I'm ready to get to work. Just point me in a direction. Let's do this thing. And I know the coaching staff is just as fired up to start training with you. In fact, they're waiting for you in the film room, so you better head over there now. All right, thanks, man. Looking forward to helping this team get some W's. Absolutely. And once again, welcome to the team. Thanks, man. So we get drafted by the Kings. I love that little team intro thing that they do there. This my career is much improved over the last gen. The Kings, not the greatest team, but presents a great opportunity for us to play early. So as we head to the arena, that is going to bring us to the end of this video. Next one, we will start with some actual games. I'm going to bring you the first couple games, and I think from there on out, probably every video will have a few games in. I want to try and get through multiple seasons. Don't want it to take six months to get through one season. So I think that's how we'll do those. But if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like. I would really appreciate it, and subscribe to see any future videos that I make. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.